Hello and welcome to this new training video dedicated to our Caldera RIP software. In this video, you will learn how to register and activate new Caldera RIP software with a software license. Let's jump in. Before explaining the registration and activation process of version 12, it's important to outline how a software license operates. A software license has several advantages. No need for a dongle. The license is now linked to a unique hardware identifier called a fingerprint. No risk of breakage, loss or theft of the dongle. A software license is automatically renewed every 30 days via the internet. So an internet connection is needed on the station hosting the license. For instance, if a customer registers his license on April 4, the license will be valid until May 3. Then the license will be automatically renewed for the next 30 days, and so on. Concerned about internet failure? Don't worry, you only need an internet connection on the renewal day. The software license is based on a unique fingerprint file called C2V. This fingerprint describes the hardware configuration of a computer, such as the network card and other components. The license won't be valid on another computer. If the license server fails, it's not possible to migrate the license to another RIP, since the license is linked to a unique fingerprint. There are five major elements involved in activating the RIP software with a software license an activated Workspace account, Caldera RIP version 12 software installed, an access number. This is sent to you on email after your order is validated. The access number is a unique number per customer made up of six digits. For example, 634-425. An activation code. This is also sent to you on email and is a 20-digit code. a fingerprint file that you will generate from your RIP software. Step 1. Create a Workspace account. To use Caldera software, a Workspace account is required. You will need to create your account before RIP installation. To create your own Workspace account, go to the official Caldera website caldera.com and access the workspace from the main menu. Click on Sign Up to create your account. After completing the form, you will receive a validation email to activate your workspace account. Step 2. Install Caldera RIP. Before installing the software, you should check out the compatibility chart available at caldera.com. Click on OS Compatibilities to access the chart. Then, go to Workspace to retrieve the RIP installation files. Go to Download and Installations and click on Installation Packages. Select New Version 12 Installation. Then choose the operating system on which you want to install the RIP. If you want to install the software on a Linux operating system, you will need to download the ISO file for Debian Stretch as well. Check out our Caldera Desk website for the full installation process. After installing the RIP, don't forget to update it with the latest build. Step 3. Get the C2V fingerprint file. The next step is recovering the fingerprint file that will allow you to activate your software later on. To recover the fingerprint file, launch your Caldera version 12 RIP software. 
As expected, your software is not activated yet. So click on Activate Product. Then click on Activate New License. Finally, click on Save Fingerprint File to create your fingerprint file on the desktop, for instance. The CTV file is now available. Step 4. Get the V2C license file. You are now ready to get the license, called the V2C file, meaning vendor to customer. Sign in to your Workspace account. Go to Downloads and Install Area, Caldera Licenses Management, Register a new license. Fill in the Access Numbers field. As explained earlier, this number is sent to you on email after validation of your order. Enter your activation code. You will receive this 20-digit activation code by email as well. You will need to assign the printers you want to manage with your license. The options displayed here depend on the number of drivers you have purchased. In this example, the order includes three drivers. Once the printers are assigned, click on Continue. Next, upload your c to v fingerprint file. The license is then added to your account, visible from the tab My Licenses. You can then download the V2C license file directly on your desktop. Step 5. Activate the RIP. It's now time to load the license file. Go back to the RIP software, then load the license file. Select the V2C file you downloaded previously. Finally, click Close to apply changes. Congrats! You are now ready to print. License Management How do you update your license? If later, you buy an additional option, like an additional printer driver, your license will be automatically renewed within six hours. No need to restart your RIP software. Of course, this will work only if the RIP station is connected to the internet. If you want to retrieve the new license immediately, you can update the license manually by using the Caldera Dock utility. To do so, download the latest version of Caldera Dock from the workspace by going to the Download and Install area, Installation Packages, Download Files. Click on Tools and browse for Caldera Dock. Download and install the package matching your operating system. After installation, launch Caldera Dock Then click on My Licenses. Click Update. Your license is now up to date. How to share your license. As you probably know, it's possible to share a license with several RIP stations, depending on the number of users allowed by the license. Here, for instance, the current license allows two users, meaning that two people can work at the same time on two different RIP stations. If you want to share your license, you will simply need to attach this license from the other RIP stations through the network. This only works if the second RIP station is version 12 as well. The operating system doesn't matter. 
it can be macOS or Debian as long as both stations are connected to the same local network. To share the license, launch the Caldera version 12 RIP software on the other station. As expected, your software is not yet activated. So click on Activate Product. Click on Manage Licenses. The remote license file should be listed next to the corresponding IP address. Select the license and click on Attach. Finally, click Close to restart your Caldera RIP and apply the changes. The second RIP station is now activated. This concludes our training video about the Caldera RIP software. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more training video content.